installation of the frame. Firstly, open the packing case to check the fittings related with the frames and their quantity. They include the front and rear legs. Assist the bars, crossbars, tank brackets, tail stock track, tail stocks, reflectors, cousins, as well as screw back. Take the front legs out and put them on a plank horizontally. Then take the tailstock track out and put it under the frame. Meanwhile, open the screw back, finding the bolts that match the connecting holes to connect the tailstock track with the front legs. After the connection of tailstock track, take the reflectors out and connect them with front legs by bolts and nuts one by one. Attention! The reflector near to the tail stock track should not be installed now so as to operate more easily in the installation of the rail legs and assistant bars. Find the tank brackets and connect them with the rear legs. Attention! The installation of the three tank brackets is the key point. Observe carefully so as to avoid the faulty installation. Take the rear side legs out. Observe carefully how the rear side legs are collected with the tank brackets. Connected them with the corresponding connecting holes of the tank brackets by balls. After the last step, connect the front legs with the rear legs by assisting bars. Pay attention to the length order of assisting bars. Take the rear middle leg out and connect it with the tank brackets. Attention! Put two ankle irons together as the rear middle frame and then connect them with the tank brackets. The assistant bars are collected with the reflectors by the same screw. Take the last rear leg out and connect it with the tank brackets. Then use the assistant bars to connect the rear and front legs in the same way mentioned above. After the installation of rear leg frames, take the crossbars out that are used to fasten the rear legs. Group them together first. Connect the crossbars with the two adjacent rear legs. The crossbars can fasten the rear legs well for fear that the strong wind destroys the frame. At last, connect the cousins to the corresponding front and rear legs. The frame installation is almost finished. Turn the frame over and put it on the roof horizontally according to the angle between the rear and front legs. Installation of the water tank. Firstly, screw off the nuts from the connection bolts of the water tank. Take the water tank out. Put it on the well installed frames slowly and lightly. Attention that insert the bolts of the water tank into the corresponding connecting holes of the tank brackets.
Use the nut screwed off just now to connect the water tank with the frames. Attention that do not screw tightly because the angle of the water tank needs to be adjusted in the installation of the heat pipes and vacuum tubes. Installation of the heat pipe and vacuum tubes. Firstly, sheave the empty dust circles onto the vacuum tube. Take the adjustable tail stocks down. Pull the heat pipe out of the vacuum tube about 20 centimeters. Sheave the white Teflon gasket into the heat pipe and put it onto the convex of the copper circle. Put the heat pipes into the water tank slowly. Attention! If it is not easy and convenient to do, we can adjust the angle between the water tank and the ground properly. Connect the joint screw with the nuts inside of the water tank. And screw them tightly by 22 mm spanner. Please pay attention to the tightness extent, avoiding being too loose to cause water leakage. Insert the vacuum tube into the empty dust circle of water tank. Then install the tail stocks that have been taken down. Attention! When inserting the vacuum tubes, they cannot be revolved for fear that they destroy the heat pipes. Install all the heat pipes according to this method. Adjust the angle and the inappropriate places, keeping them horizontally. Install the accessories and revolve the small red cap of the air vent on the top to ventilate. At last, fasten all the balls. The best time to install the heat pipes and vacuum tubes is in the morning or in the evening or at the time when the sunlight is weak. If there are strong sunlights, the heat pipes will be heated quickly and the temperature will reach about 100 degrees that will scald the installation workers easily. Or wrap the vacuum tubes by a piece of cloth so that they are not exposed under the sunlight directly.